Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of my sprite animation tutorial series. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to animate with motion tweens and classic tweens and different ways you can use them. So I'm going to, I'm going to be using supersonic as an example. Here's just my test subject, if you will. So if we, if we have supersonic just like this, he's not moving anywhere. Like he, he's, a, he's a symbol, we covered symbols last time, and he's not moving anywhere. So, we need to make him move. So if we want to make him move, so we'll just drag him over here. So if you look down here at this rectangle with the black circle in it, this is a keyframe, and this is the main parts of like, this is how Flash um, determines where characters should be, basically, where symbols should be in the canvas. So what we want to do is go over to two seconds. I'm animating on 60 frames this time. Uh, you can do whatever. It doesn't really matter where you do this, but insert keyframe. So now we have two keyframes. So for both of these, Sonic is in the same place. So for the second keyframe, so basically how this works is if we were to click here and move over here, then this keyframe is still here. So we don't want that. So we want Sonic to start there because that's attached to this keyframe and we want him to finish up over here because it's, it's attached to this keyframe so we need to move it whilst clicking on that. And now we want to right click on all these, on these empty frames, it doesn't matter where, just anywhere on these empty frames and click create classic tween. And now you'll see this, this turn blue and you'll see this arrow across it. And now every frame in between those two keyframes is now a movement frame. So now Sonic will move across through that. So there's different ways you can use these, but it doesn't really make you don't really want to be doing this, like convert to frame by frame animation. You don't really want to do that. But the classic twin does have a thing that's very useful, and that is easing. So if you don't know what easing is, in summary, it's basically making something go slow to begin with and then speed up and then slow down towards the end effectively. And it depends what we do. So if we do ease in, it doesn't really matter what one we pick, but if we do ease in, you'll see that he starts off slow and then speeds up as he gets to the end. If we are to do ease out, he'll start fast and then slow down towards the end. And if we were to do ease in and out, it does both so it speeds up and then slows back down and that's basically an easy summary of it there's there's many different things you can do with this there's different settings that flash gives you to do these uh, a lot of these I really wouldn't recommend like a bounce and elastic I wouldn't recommend in the presets uh, classic easing is definitely a good shout if especially if you're on an older version of flash because all these other settings don't exist and all there is is classic easing and for those people I'm just going to quickly go through how to do ease in and out so easing in with the classic ease you want to put in the value minus 80 it doesn't really matter but minus 85 is normally how I do it with the classic ease it goes up to 100 on either side so minus 100 is basically the way it starts it, it, it does it properly I guess if that's the best way to put it and then if we were to do 100 then it slows down and if you want to do ease in and out you need to go in the middle you need to just crop it in the middle somewhere and then just do minus a hundred and then a hundred on either side it's quite easy to understand hopefully so now that I've shown you how the classic twin works I'm going to go through different ways that you can use it for sprite animations in terms of Sonic because I feel like that's what most people are here for I'm going to be getting a different sprite for this uh, just clear that keyframe. So I'm going to show you guys how to do a simple jump. So what we want to do is click on our symbol, right click on it, and we want to convert this symbol into another symbol. So now we have a symbol inside of a symbol. You see, so scene one, symbol, and symbol one, roll. So it, it's a symbol inside of a symbol. And the way to do a jump effect. So what we want to do is have the ground here so it doesn't 
really you, you always want to start from the ground obviously that's how a jump works and what you want to do is go across and insert a keyframe it doesn't really matter where as long as you feel comfortable with where you've put it and it looks okay and then you want to have another one so this one and this one you want to keep in the same position this one you want to move up in a straight line so now we want to just add a classic twin to both of these empty frame things <laughs> and we want to do an ease out for the first bit and then an ease in for the second bit so now we have the simple jump but the reason I say you do it inside of a symbol so if we just go to where the symbol ends is we can move it and it looks a lot smoother so now we can do another classic twin we we'll just move it along gradually and it does a nice jump so I'm gonna go through motion tweens now and I I don't recommend using these I really don't but I'm gonna go through it anyway just because it's part of the topic effectively so I brought supersonic back as you can obviously see and I'm gonna just insert a motion tween or create a motion tween so now you'll see it all turns blue and we don't have a keyframe at the end either side and it's changed the layer to um, this symbol which means you can't do it you can't create a motion tween on the same layer as a classic tween which is one reason why I don't recommend it now the way these work is you don't insert a keyframe beforehand you basically you go through and add it as you go if if that makes any sense it's hard to explain it so I've just made one here and Sonic does move normally you know that you would expect them to go up in a straight line but it's made this weird diamond symbol which is different from a regular keyframe and the way motion tweens work the only good thing therefore is being able to so if you go to this line if you just have the mouse selected if you just go to this line you'll see the curved line next to your mouse and it basically this means you're allowed to bend the tween and that's really the only thing, good thing this is for <laughs> it doesn't really do a whole lot else as far as I'm aware anyway but it's just a, I don't see the point in doing this because what it does is it makes him slow down as he gets to like the curve which is why I don't recommend it because if you're doing a jump with this it doesn't really look realistic because he slows down and he speeds up way too much and it just doesn't look right I just I really don't recommend using these at all but they're just part of the topic so I might as well cover it so as you can see there's no there's not really any settings we can add ease to it if we wanted to but there's not really a whole lot of settings we can do with this we can't really use it in many other settings other than this it's very situational but you know you have the knowledge now so I want to thank anyone that's made it towards the end of the video I know these are a bit boring but you know you guys wanted it for the 2000 subscriber special and I'm delivering anyway thanks for watching I'll see you all in the next video